Hello Year 8, so I hope you enjoyed looking at this poem yesterday, so today I'm going to talk through some ideas for the answers to the questions. So there they are. So number one, uh, what does the poet mean by the be loud glade? So in the line before, uh, he's talking about building a cabin um, in a very natural, old-fashioned way and growing rows of beans and a hive for honeybees. So the bee loud glade with the flowers and nature and the bees. So he's hoping, imagining all of the bees from his hive buzzing and making a loud noise in the glade. So that is question one. Uh, question two, find the three animals that the poet mentions. So we just talked about the honeybee. And here we have Cricket Sings, and there we have Linnet's Wings. So a linnet is a type of small bird. So there we have three animals, and then four times a day that the poem mentions. So, we have morning, midnight, noon, and evening. Four times a day. Then, what sort of place is Innisfree? Find words and phrases in the text to support your answer. So, here, standard view, we have him saying that he will have peace there. It talks about the veils of the morning and the cricket singing, so that beautiful mornings and beautiful light and nature being, being able to hear nature in the country and then how in on this island the midnight is glimmer like a lovely light and noon is glowing purple it's like a lovely colour and there we have the bird's wing so it's just full of nature and beautiful colours and um, there we have lake water and lovely sounds So it's a retreat and somewhere that is not built up, somewhere that man hasn't put their stamp on with roads and society and noise and traffic and money making and that kind of thing. So it's not polluted. So question five, uh, which line is repeated in the poem? First line here, I will arise 
and go now and go to Innis Free. So I will arise and go now. And here we have I will arise and go now. And then two colours mentioned in the poem. Why does the poet use those colours? So I mentioned one of them earlier. So we talked about the purple glow. And here we've got pavements grey. So we have two colours. Here he's talking about roadways and pavements and greyness, symbolically that grey stands for land and concrete and stone and built up areas that mankind has made and here we've got noon on in the being a purple glow it's like a beautiful luxurious natural colour so they contrast against each other So then, what does the poet hear when he is in the city? So, always night and day I hear lake water lapping with no sound by the shore. So he hears it even though he's not there. So what he's literally hearing on a roadway or pavements would be like traffic and noise, but He's imagining what he's remembering is lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. So a lovely, natural, gentle sound of water lapping. So why does the poet want to go to the sea? How does he feel when he's in the sea? So all of the questions have built up to that idea, haven't they? So he is here in the poem, in the city, in the town, and all he can think about, all he can hear in his core, in his heart, a longing, a desire to be back where nature was beautiful and free and he was alone to enjoy it without the stresses and the pressures and the trappings of everything that come with being in a town and a city and living there. So in his free and his feelings so there's emotions here about peace and words like being slow and lapping and low and glimmering and glowing so everything is gentle and slow and calm calm and tranquil and that's why he wants to be there because that's how it makes him feel he can be where he wants to be who he wants to be with nature so thank you very much and um, if you'd like to correct ideas and show me your work that would be good uh, and today also there is a spelling test so I hope you enjoy that too have a good week